Hey, so good afternoon. My name is Patrick Glazer. I'm the National Sales Manager with Yale Smart Res. Um, welcome to the ESA Leadership Conference. It's great to see everybody. I know this is being done virtually, which is a little bit different than what we're accustomed to. Um, but I hope you can take something away from this and I look forward to seeing you all very, very soon. So today we are gonna talk about Yale as being an Asa Abloy brand company. And we're also gonna work our way into a bit of a niche that we think is very applicable right now, which is a theme that we call hands-free is care-free. And I think you'll find it all very, very interesting. So, you know, who is Yale? Well, we're an Asa Abloy company. And Asa Abloy is the global leader in access solutions. We're in over 70 countries. We have well over 48,000 employees. And we're now closer to a $10 billion, $10.2 billion a year organization. So clearly our reach um, is far. So what makes up Yale Smart Res? Well, it's really a combination of Yale and August. August is a company that was acquired about two and a half years ago by Asa Abloy, but it fits very, very well with Yale. And again, does make up the Yale Smart Res brands or team. Um, we've been very, very well recognized as many of you know, by, by our industry peers. Um, and, and one recognition that we're very, very proud of um, is our 2020 CE Pro brand leader. As you can see, we've been recognized four years in a row as a brand leader um, within our space. And that's something we're very, very proud of. And our product team and our marketing team and our sales team work very, very hard um, to make that happen. So again, something we're very, very proud of. And I think you see that reflected uh, in our solutions. So a lot of good news, you know, we all in this home automation and security industry talk about this a lot, you know, how much market share is still out there? How much of that market have we already penetrated? Um, and for a long, long time, you know, we said we kind of had penetrated about 20% of that market. Well, we're now up to about 33% market penetration. And that's made up of not only the security industry, but what we now know is the home automation industry, right? Our audience has really, really expanded over the last four or five, six years. Um, and yes, although the penetration is healthy at 33%, the good news is, there is so much more to come. You know, there is 67% market share out there that is really still untapped. So finding ways to penetrate um, and be appealing to that customer base is something we put a focus on every day. And that's made up of several of our products, you know, whether it's a residential product, um, a small business or commercial product, or of course now even a multifamily product. As many of you know, um, that multifamily vertical has absolutely exploded in the last three, four years or so. And that's really opened up some unique avenues for us. Uh, and I will tell you here at Yale um, in August, we don't think of ourselves uh, as a one dimensional company at all. We really want to be able to address multiple verticals as it comes to, you know, home automation and smart locks and devices. And I think we'll make that very, very clear to you, not only today, but certainly in the months and years to come. So there's a movement that has been very much um, recognized or exposed here in the last couple of years. And again, this starts to move us towards that hands-free is carefree conversation that we'd like to have with you today. Um, our society is changing. COVID has certainly had an impact on that to a large degree. And again, we always feel that the first people to adapt to market changes and changes you know, with, within the USA or certainly globally are those that are gonna survive and those that are gonna continue to do well. So as an example of this contact, contactless movement, I would like to share a couple of statistics with you that are very interesting. So over the last few years, we have really gone contactless in that credit card payments. Right now, 79% of credit card payments are contactless. 77% of drug stores and pharmacies are contactless in regard to payments. They're using these services that don't require you to necessarily interact with an individual or pass them a credit card or exchange cash or, or monetary, um, uh, you know, monetarily, I should say, if you will. 
but it's become a contactless transaction. Now 61% of grocery stores, again, take advantage of those contactless transactions. Another great example of that is Apple Pay. Apple Pay is now used by over 441 million people globally. Um, again, many of you might Venmo and use other um, applications and ways to, again, transact with others that are, again, contactless. Um, keyless car entry systems. This is a really interesting one. You know, we've been talking about this at Yale now for, oh my gosh, probably six or seven years in that, you know, in 1998, there was one car in America that had a key-free ignition system and a key-free entry system. Now there are well over 200 vehicles that operate with keyless entry systems um, or, or ignition systems. So 62% of all cars sold today have keyless car entry systems. And that might mean you're using an app on your phone or it could be a pin pad of some kind. But again, you understand things are changing very, very rapidly. And we wanted to address that. And I think we've done that very, very well. So Yale Smart Locks, I wanna kind of give you a, a, a feel for our product family, if you will. So we do have products that are designed specifically for pro only users. These are typically gonna be compromised of Z-Wave only type solutions because we certainly find in the security marketplace, Z-Wave is still very, very much embraced by security dealers. But we also have what we call our Assure product line. And those are devices that allow you to interchange a radio within the back of the product that could allow for it to be Z-Wave or Zigbee, or now what we call Connected by August or Yale Access, which is really introducing you into a Wi-Fi type ecosystem. So it's really allowed us to do a lot of neat things. So if you wanna use a pin pad and you wanna use Z-Wave and you want that to be maybe capacitive touchscreen or push button, fine, we can make that available. If you're looking for something with a key override, again, in a capacitive touchscreen or a push button type design, that is available. And then of course, we offer those in deadbolts and or levers. But kind of, again, a key takeaway here is that they're not all Z-Wave or they're not necessarily all Zigbee. We're giving you the ability uh, and the functionality of potentially changing out a radio in the back of our products and again, embracing Z-Wave or Zigbee or Wi-Fi, if you will, what we refer to as connected by August or now Yale Access, right? So a lot of flexibility there for you to grow with our product line. So again, how does that lend to this hands-free is care-free? We do it a couple of ways. If you're doing a Z-Wave integration, again, that hands-free is care-free approach might be simply using the app on your phone which allows you to interact with that product and not touching it. It could also be taking advantage of some of our Wi-Fi products that have Bluetooth capability. So now we're not even using necessarily the app on our phone to unlock that, that deadbolt or lever, but it's reading the Bluetooth key on your phone. So when you approach it, the door is opening for you or unlocking automatically, and you're not having to touch that pin pad at all. And this might sound different or it might sound strange, but the reality is over the course of the last six months, this has been a requested feature and service from Yale. And so we've embraced it fully. So again, we kind of started with key free solutions six, seven, eight years ago, and these are continuing to migrate and evolve and now even becoming again, hands-free altogether. We think the lock is really the center of the universe a little bit when it comes to home automation. And you might say, well, you know, why do you say that? What does that mean? Well, what it means is this. When you come home every day or you leave your house every day, you have to do what? You have to walk through a door. And that seems to be a really sensible time to interact with your home security or your home automation platform. So that lock is really extending the reach of what you're able to do as you enter the home. Now, again, you might choose to do that before you come through the door using an app on your phone or maybe Bluetooth um, as, a, as a credential with your phone to unlock that door. But we know when you come through that door either way, using those features or a pin 
code or a PIN number, um, it has the ability to do what? Notify another user that you've come home. Disarm your security system. By creating scenes, it might also turn on lights or adjust your thermostat. Again, all these things are contactless. So again, it leads back to what? I've said it I know more than once. It leads back to hands-free is carefree, and it's changing the way we kind of live and operate within our homes. And so whether it's mom and dad using it and finding the notification features to be very important, or it's your children using it and coming home and having the ability to enter a pin or use a smart device to gain entry, if they have a smart device, it's creating unbelievable convenience in today's world. And again, bringing a hands-free is carefree approach to these things. So we even went a step further. You know, here at Yale, we sell a lot of mechanical hardware as well. And it complements our electronic hardware very, very nicely. Something we kind of discovered earlier this year with this movement was, um, hey, you know, why, why don't we um, pair one of our mechanical levers with our electronic products to make that entry into your home an even easier one uh, in regard to hands-free being carefree. And so our Navis paddle, which is a push-pull paddle, was a no-brainer when we walked down this road. And you can kind of see illustrated there to your right how that might operate. So let's paint a picture here. If you look at that first little bubble, you see somebody coming home there and their hands are full. You certainly see that in the, in, the, in the middle bubble there and you see that in the bottom bubble as well. But the idea is they're coming home, their hands are full, could be mom or dad, could be a child, um, but they're coming home, perhaps the Bluetooth on their phone or maybe even geofencing has been set up to electronically unlock that deadbolt. So that deadbolt has retracted. Now they're using their elbow, the back of their hand, maybe a knee, maybe a hip, to push that Navis paddle to unlatch the door and to allow entry. And then using another one of the, our great features that we offer, which is auto relock, that door could then automatically even be locking behind them. So it is total convenience. And whether you're doing that you know, via an integration through a panel that might support Z-Wave or a cloud integration, or even using our Yale Access app to manage that, um, it's giving you wonderful ways and options and solutions to come through that door uh, in a very convenient manner and again, contactless. So how do we support that even further? You know, we've got great marketing materials that we can provide you with to, to really market and promote this message out to your dealers and users. But we again know that while the world is staying closer to home, the benefits of going key-free are more important than ever. And we wanna help you get that message across. And there are a lot of different ways we can do that. But it's as simple as hands-free access through auto unlock, geofencing, or a remote application, as I've mentioned. It's providing safety and convenience to your end users in today's world. Not only the safety of knowing that your door has been secured while you were gone or secured while you're home, but again, also the convenience to, your, to the end user of auto unlocking or hands-free entry into the home. Uh, it's providing a service that may otherwise be disregarded in today's changing environment, which is also the self-install. We find that a lot of these solutions, although can be done very, very well by pro installers, may also be something that you want to incorporate into a DIY approach to your business. You know, a lot of you out there are probably selling, you know, direct to the end user and you're doing it in person with the sales representative. And then maybe you're sending an installer out to install that system, which makes perfect sense. Maybe you're selling the solution over the phone and just sending out an installer to install it. Or maybe you want to consider another approach, which is, hey, maybe I can sell some of these solutions because they are so easy to install over the phone. I can pre-stage them. I can ship them out to the end user and then make myself available for support over the phone if necessary. But I can you know, kind of put all this stuff together for them, pre-kitted, send it out to their home and market a hands-free solution to them that they can self-install. Again, I'm not suggesting that should be your entire business model, but maybe it would be a nice component to your business model and allow you to do things a little bit differently and still find ways to drive reoccurring revenue 
through the monitoring and the service of that system with a much lower upfront cost and investment of having to roll a truck, send a representative out, install it, sell it, so on and so forth. So again, kind of expand your, your thinking around this and understand there are different ways to approach things in today's world. So again, we always like to say we want to really be the solution provider to your experience at the front door or the side door or that rear entry or whatever that might be. We really want to own that experience at the door for you and provide you with the right solutions. So again, you can see some simple bundles we've created here with our Assure product line. Again, these could be Z-Wave, they could be Zigbee, they could be Wi-Fi. It's really up to you. These we have paired with our Navis Paddle which is that wonderful push-pull solution. But again, we've got a lot of other neat hardware we can talk to you about as, as it relates to mechanical hardware. And we think what a great time to really upgrade and update the look of your door by pairing an electronic lock with one of our mechanical solutions. So again, to kind of recap, key-free deadbolts with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. As I said earlier, you can unlock the door automatically, meaning the lock will unlock as you approach it. How convenient is that? Hands could be full of a loved one in this case, could be groceries, could be your bags when you're coming home from that great vacation. Could be the ability to control the entry into your front door from anywhere where you've got Wi-Fi connectivity using again the app, if you will, by unlocking or locking your door, sharing access to somebody that may need entry into your home while you're gone. See who's coming and when they are coming. Um, door sense. We've got a wonderful new feature um, with our products called Door Sense um, that really tells you if the door is securely closed. So for many, many years, people have said, well, you know, I locked that deadbolt remotely, but I didn't necessarily know if my door was closed when I locked it. I just know the deadbolt was thrown. Well, now through our Door Sense contact, it's actually going to tell you that yes, the door is closed. And so you now know when that deadbolt is thrown that it is truly secure a wonderful feature that we offer with our solutions. Um, voice compatibility. You know, our locks work with all three voice services, Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant, and Siri. And again, that auto relock, meaning not only is the door gonna necessarily unlock as I approach it, but if I've selected auto relock after I come through the door, that door is gonna lock behind me. So if I forgot to relock it when I set my bags down, or my children were in a hurry to get home from school and get inside and they forgot to lock that door behind them, you know what, that's one more thing you don't have to worry about. We're gonna take care of that for you through our auto relock. Again, hands full, not a problem at all. As we alluded to, this Navis paddle addresses that very, very nicely. We talk about you know, it being ideal for a front door, but it's any entry door, right? Just makes life a little bit easier all around. So why do customers love our smart locks? Man, they love them because it's the best product out there. It's well-made, they're attractive. We have solutions, as I say, and flavors that fit anybody's styles. The auto lock and unlock features are tremendous. The ability to access these locks from home and away, tremendous. Who needs keys anymore? You know, we find that now over 60% of our sales are key-free. People simply don't want to carry keys around in their pockets anymore like they used to. It's antiquated. I'd rather give out a pin code. I don't want keys out there floating around that somebody might get a hold of. And frankly, this just makes a whole lot more sense because I can track who's coming and going when they enter that four digit pin, let's say, into their lock. And then lastly, who is this guy? Well, once again, I am Patrick Blazer. I'm the national sales manager for our Yale Real Living team. I can be contacted at any time, so please feel free to reach out at 704-351-6378 or to patrick.blazer at asaabloy.com. And we look forward to meeting you all and supporting you further in the future. So thank you very, very much and enjoy the event.